Hey, what's going on? Pat McLaughlin here from SnareDrumTV.com. This is episode number 25. In this episode, I'm going to show you an uh, exercise called the triplet grid. Uh, the triplet grid is an exercise that focuses on getting you comfortable with every single partial of a triplet, and we do that by uh, shifting an accent around on all of the different partials, okay? If you want free snare drum sheet music for this exercise and you're watching this on YouTube or something, simply head over to snaredrumtv.com, find episode 25, and there's a big button right underneath that video that you can click on. It'll take you straight to the sheet music for this uh, exercise so that you can read along as you learn it. You can do it all over there, open up the sheet music, and then you can also watch the video on the site too. Uh, so it makes it super convenient for you. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this guy. Uh, like I said, this is the triplet grid exercise, um, and we are going to plug it into the 421 formula. So, if you haven't watched episode 18 yet, where I explain what the 421 formula is, simply click here. Uh, it'll take you straight to episode 18. You can watch that, get an understanding for what the uh, 421 formula is, and then come back and learn this exercise, and it'll make it super easy on you, uh, and you'll you'll know exactly what's going on. So it'll be super simple. Okay. Um, getting into this exercise, there are three patterns uh, in this exercise you need to learn. Okay, uh, the first one is simply triplets with the downbeat or the accent on the downbeat. Okay, so that will sound like this: one, two, three, four. All right. The second pattern, uh, we shift the accent from being on the downbeat to the second partial of the triplet, all right? So if you're counting triplets as one triplet, two triplet, the accent will now be on the trip. If you count triplets as one lolly, two lolly, the accent will now be on the la, or if you just count triplets as one, two, three, the accent will now be on the two, okay? So it'll sound like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, all right? So that's the second pattern that we need to know, and it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. All right, and finally the third pattern, we shift the accent again, and now we shift it to the third partial of the triplet. So if you count triplets as one triplet, two triplet, the accent will now be on the let. If you count triplets as one lolly, two lolly, the accent will now be on the li. If you count triplets as one, two, three, the accent will now be on the three. Okay, so it'll sound like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. All right? So those are the three main, or the three sections or patterns of this exercise that you need to know. Okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to plug them into the 4 two, one formula. All right? So for the, the first section, the fours, we're going to play four beats of each one of those patterns. So we're going to have a measure of triplets with the accent on the downbeat followed by a measure of triplets with the accent on the second partial, and then a measure of triplets with the accent on the third partial of the triplet. All right? So all together, the first section, the fours, in the 4 two, one formula, will sound like this. One, two, three, four. All right, so that's the first section. The second section, we simply do two beats of each. Okay, so we have two beats of triplets with the, with the accent on the downbeat, followed by two beats of triplets with the accent on the second partial, and then two beats of triplets uh, with the accent on the third partial. Okay, and we're going to do that whole sequence or that whole section two times. Okay, so the second part of the, the middle part of the exercise of the 4 two, one formula will sound like this. One, two, Three, four. All right, and finally, we're going to play the last section, which is the ones. We're going to play one beat of triplets with uh, the accent on the downbeat, followed by one beat of triplet with the accent on the second partial, and then a beat of triplets with the accent on the third partial. Okay, and that's going to be. The, uh, the section, and we're going to play that section four times, okay? So the last section in the 4 two, one formula will sound like this. One, two, three, four. All right, 
And uh, it's important to note that in the last uh, section, in the one section, you switch the hands that you lead each section with, okay, or each uh, sequence with. So, for example, you start with one triplet, two triplet, three triplet. That last accent of the first sequence is with the right hand. So that means the downbeat of four in the start of the next sequence is with the left hand. So then you have uh, four triplet, one, okay? So it's important to take a look at that. Um, and then obviously it switches back again to the right hand for the third time through and then to the left hand for the fourth time through, okay? And I'll write the stickings into the sheet music uh, so that you get that's super clear and you understand what's going on there, okay? So that's the entire exercise broken down into each uh, 4 two, one section. I'm going to go ahead and play the whole thing for you now so you get an idea as to what it sounds like. Uh, and if you want to, you can go ahead and play along. This is at 120 beats per minute. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So that's the exercise. That's the exercise. It's a lot of fun to play. Uh, there's a ton of different stuff that you can do with this, such as uh, putting flams on it, diddles, different rudiments, tons of different crazy stuff um, that I'm sure we will get into in future episodes. So start with this. Learn it slow, work it up slow, get a really, really solid understanding of it, um, and we will throw a whole bunch of different embellishments on it throughout the course of, of episodes to come. Um, the, and like I said, there's a ton of stuff that you can do with this. So this is a really, really good one to learn and to keep in your, uh, your repertoire, um, whether you're practicing it daily or once a week or something, just to keep it fresh, get really comfortable with the concept of it all. Uh, and then once we start adding other things onto it and making it more complex uh, to challenge you more and improve your um, playing, it'll be a lot easier. You won't be focused on the concept so much as the actual playing, okay? Um, so that's it for this, this, exer or this exercise and this episode. If you enjoyed it, please do a quick favor and uh, go sh send it to a friend, whether it's through Twitter or Facebook or email, whatever. If you think there's someone that you know that would enjoy this, I would greatly appreciate it if you just sent it on to them. Uh, that would help out a lot. Um, and I'm trying to think. I think that's about it. So have fun learning this. Have fun working it up. Go get the free sheet music if you haven't done that already. And I will see you next time on Snare Drum TV.